Hi, I'm Graham, Chief Exec of SCMA. I'm working remotely today, but wanted to take a few minutes out to catch up with you and to update you personally, as I'm aware that a number of members are very concerned about the potential loss of income which could arise for childminders linked to coronavirus. The first thing to stress is that, as far as we're aware, the vast majority of childminding businesses are still open, so we are largely talking about the potential risk of loss of income. In terms of your contracts, we would suggest at this time that normal business rules apply. So, for example, if a child is unable to attend your setting, we would suggest you charge the parent. If you have to close your setting, we would suggest you do not charge the parent. However, we recognise that those business rules are based on normal circumstances and short-term closures linked to normal illness. We're in different territory with coronavirus where isolation measures could um, take place over longer term. What we would suggest you do is to speak to the parents. You're in a strong position where you have relationships with the families that you support. Um, it'd be quite useful to explore the circumstances. So, for example, some parents who may be encouraged to work from home or self-isolate may be getting paid and quite happy to keep paying you. Others may be forced to work from home or self-isolate and are not getting paid, in which cases that could be more challenging for them. What we'd suggest you do is try to achieve some form of compromise, perhaps including part payment, deferred payment plans. There are different options. The second thing to clarify is that public liability insurance does not cover loss of earnings. We suspect that a number of child menders do not have income protection, so being aware of this, um, as soon as it appeared that coronavirus was going to affect the UK, we made very early contact with the Scottish Government to urge them to establish an economic hardship fund or assistance fund to support small businesses like yourselves and parents who may lose income as a result of coronavirus and isolation measures. The Scottish Government has been listening. They've been working really closely with the UK Government. The UK Government published a budget last week and the Scottish Government has since been considering if there are additional measures required for Scotland. Last Saturday, the Scottish Government announced an additional £320 million to support Scottish businesses adversely affected by the coronavirus outbreak. This included an allocation of £80 million for small businesses and the self-employed who may be eligible to apply for grants of around £3,000 each. However, at this time, it still remains unclear who is eligible to apply. So we are in an ongoing discussion with the Scottish Government to identify if childminders can apply, and if not, we will continue to encourage them to identify some form of funding to support the childcare sector, including childminders. Moving on to ELC, we are aware that we've also been receiving questions in terms of there's an understanding that if local authorities had to close their nurseries, that local authority staff would continue to get paid. So the question has been asked, what would happen for childminders who would have been delivering funded hours but may not be able to do so? From our point of view, ELC is a provider neutral policy and it's very much our expectation that all providers would be treated equally and that childminders would continue to get paid. We have made this point to the Scottish Government and are waiting a decision. As soon as we hear, we will update you on that. There have been some wider developments. Um, as recently as a couple of nights ago, one of the leading high street banks in the UK announced that they were going to defer mortgage payments, loan repayments for a period of three months to support people in the UK during the coronavirus outbreak. When we look at what's been happening in European countries and other countries where the coronavirus outbreak started at an earlier stage, what has happened there is that has become quite widespread. It was our anticipation that most banks and hopefully utility companies may also look at affording deferral and breaks and repayment for the wider public. Yesterday, there was another additional announcement came through from the Westminster government in terms of additional funds to support the economy. At the moment, it's still unclear about what aspects of this may or may not apply for Scotland. I've got a meeting with the Scottish Government this afternoon where we'll try to get further clarity and as soon as we have this, we'll update you. So please be assured we are doing everything we can to support you, our members, at this time. Stay safe.